and I think this is a video. Let's see what is that. Uh, when they're sending people in front of your house to terrorize you, my goodness, what do you call this? When the person, the house that they're going to doesn't want that kind of intrusion. What do you call this? You're scaring people. All right, sending people to scare the hell out of them. You are making people want to kill me. What do you call this? You're scaring people. It's not just a tabloid. It's not just some story. You are making me scared. All right, sending people to scare the hell out of them. What do you call this? If that, if this is not terrorism. You are making me scared. Terror. Okay, let's look up the word terrorism. All right, this was the last word that I did. Okay. Let's do terrorism. What is that? All right, let's look it up. Most people think of this, those images, people with gun. Yes, it does involve of that, but let's look at the meaning itself. Okay. The unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians and the pursuit of political aims. Do you see any scenario by which Harry and Meghan overshadow Kate and Oh, William? yes, I do. I do. I mean, this is immediately was my first thought. You know, th this this could be a problem. You are making people want to kill me. I do. I mean, this is immediately was my first thought. It's not just a tabloid. You know, th this it's not just some story. This could be a problem. You are making me scared. The unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians and the pursuit of political aims. Is that the case? No, absolutely no. not. No. I mean, and and, and if, we're to, if we're talking about why this whole, you know, Harry Meghan thing started, it started because uh, several years ago, if you, if you cast your mind back, the, the Queen was and always will be the most popular royal, but second to that, was Harry. Harry. It wasn't William and Kate. It yeah. was not William and Kate. And when Harry, when, when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple. It's not just a tabloid. It put everybody's noses out of joint. The establishment wanted to retain the monarchy as it was. Yeah. You are making me scared. To boost William and Kate. Sometimes it's that's more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. <laughs> to boost William and Kate. Asked me how many days do you offer this service? And I said two days a week. And her straight question was, why not seven days here? And I said, funding. So she goes, we can do a cookbook. To boost William and Kate. Oh, well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important, so, you know. And her straight question was, why not seven days here? And I said, funding. So she goes, we can do a cookbook. And the media, the Daily Mail and the Telegraph in particular. It's not just a tabloid. Fed those lines. Well, drip, I, drip, I, drip, don't, drip, drip, I agree drip. with everything until you said the last bit. I think I think that, that somebody in the palace. Oh, well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. Decided to take them yes. down a peg or two and it went too far. Absolutely. But it's all history now, isn't it? No, you it's, know. Not, it's not history because, for instance, if, if you take the media on, as, as Dawn will know. The unlawful use of violence and intimidation especially against civilians who are making people want to kill me and the pursuit of political aims no i mean and and, and if, we're to, if we're talking about why this whole you know harry megan thing started and the pursuit of political aims it started because uh, several years ago if you if you cast your mind back the the Queen was and always will be the most popular role, but second, if you... You never win. If you never win, but the, but the media will be always be at war with you, and the Daily Mail it does everything, drip, 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 poison. Okay. And it's, Daily not, it's right. not like Harry and Meghan never use the media, of course. Much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. So, I mean, they, Oprah they, they, if interview. you were in that position, you would fight back too. You would absolutely fight back. Okay. This is what they're doing. Intimidation. You intimidate them. They don't want to be part of that game. This is the thing here. We need to call it exactly what it is. They're terrorizing. You are making people want to kill me. They're terrorizing occasion on several occasions. We have teams investigating it. People have been prosecuted. They're terrorizing.
We had teams investigating it. People have been prosecuted. You are making me scared. Right? Okay. This is what they're doing. Intimidation. You intimidate them. They don't want to be part of that game. This is the thing here. We need to call it exactly what it is. They're terrorizing. Okay, let's use the word terrorize. Terrorize. Okay. What is that? Create and maintain a state of extreme fear and distress in someone. You are making people want to kill me. You are making me scared. Right? Okay. You tell me the thing that they're doing to Heavy and Megan. What is it? They're telling you they don't want that. They are willing to work with you at their own term. You want pictures? At my own term. Look at the documentary. We see tons of pictures. Okay? Tons of pictures. So she doesn't want Heavy and Megan, especially Heavy, have been saying it publicly since he was, before he even met Megan. He doesn't want the intrusion. Alright? So they left as Heavy was leaving uh, the UK to go meet uh, Megan and Archie in Canada. He said he's looking for a peaceful life. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations, but without public funding. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. I've accepted this, knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. But I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back from all I have ever known, to take a, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. And to feel your excitement for our snow. son, Archie, who saw snow for the first time the other day and thought it was bloody We've brave. been really conscious of protecting our kid. As a dad. Take a step forward. Take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. What's going on, my love? 
We are making this balloon arch. <laughs> Archie's first birthday. It doesn't, doesn't look like an arch. It'll, it'll get there. Will it? We just have to glue all of these up. Spray. And use these. And... Into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. Follow the instructions. Correct. Into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. Obviously. <laughs> I was there at Christmas. What is it that you're making? Those, obviously. <laughs> I miss so much of Archie's life, but. I guess to take a step forward is what I hope can be a more peaceful life. take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. I got a dirty foot, Mama. Because I was in you. Papa is a bird watcher, so this is a really big moment. <laughs> Do 
equally what's most important for the two of us is to make sure that we don't repeat the same mistakes. are making people want to kill me. It's not just a tabloid. It's not just some story. You are making me scared. Peaceful. He is willing to give everything away. Okay, he was willing to work. You terrorize him with, uh, oh, you need to pay for the, uh, was it the cottage? He paid it. You ask him for other thing, he did it. Now he left because he want peace. peace you know, if you want to be private, go back to America and live privately. It's pretty straightforward. But I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back. Go back to America. From all I have ever known to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. He want peaceful life. He literally said, but you're sending people at their home in Canada to terrorize them. This is not fair. Okay. This is the word terrorize mean because English is not my language because the West love, they love, they love to label these people, this type of things. When they're trying to defend themselves, you could look at it at different perspective. Through Google, this is what terrorize mean. Create. I know we can rely on you for being a great guy. So what an incredible friend you were to Meghan Markle is. Have you guys hung it out, hung out at all since then? No, we haven't spoken. She just wrote me a very nice thank you letter and I framed it and that was very nice of her to do. She just appreciated that I was honest and, but it's so funny that we live in a time where everyone's like, it's such a big deal. I just did the right thing. Right. You know, it's okay to feel like that should be the norm and the status quo, but it's like, whoa, it's so crazy. He told the truth. I think we should all be a little more honest. Well, thank you for doing the right thing. Maintain. Maintain. I was called by the Sun newspaper. If you don't know what the Sun is, it's sort that's of, all you need to know. And they called me about a month ago to ask if I'd write about how Meghan was like Wallace and how Meghan was going to destroy the royal family. Maintain. What do you don't think do about destroying the royal moving. family? And how Meghan was going to destroy the royal family. What do you don't think do about destroying the royal moving. family? like Wallace and how Meghan was going to destroy the royal family and the arguments between Meghan and Kate and I said I'm really sorry I'm just not privy to all of this I don't think I could do it and and the commissioning editor 
uh, was really twisting my arm to write this article and say, but you could say, couldn't you, that X happened, and you could say that she's fired all her staff, and you could say that Kate has said this. And I said, well, I'm really sorry. I don't know that. I can't do it. And this conversation went on for about half an hour, and I didn't write the article, but it just gives you an insight into how this whole thing is being, you know, the, the flames are being fanned by the media. A state of extreme fear. It's not just a tabloid. A state of extreme fear. It's not just some story. You are making me scared. A state of extreme fear. Right? And like that night, to be up and down in the middle of the night, looking down my hallway like, are we safe? Are the doors locked? A state of extreme fear. Is security on? Is everything? That's real. Are my babies safe? A state of extreme fear. And you've created it for what? Do you see any scenario by which Harry and Meghan overshadow Kate and... Oh, Maria? yes, I do. And you've created it for what? The Queen was and always will be the most popular role, but second to that was Harry. For what? It wasn't William and Kate. It yeah. was not William and Kate. For what? And when Harry, when, when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple... For what? Oh, well, if we can give you a smile here and there, that's important, so, you know. And when Harry, when, when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple... For what? Asked me, how many days do you offer this service? And I said, two days a week. And her straight question was, why not seven days a hero? And I said, one thing. So she goes, we can do a cookbook. I, I know the fact that she'll be really unbelievably good at the job part of it as well. Um, it's obviously a huge, huge relief to me because she'll be able to deal with, with everything else that comes with it. For what? But um, mm -hmm. no, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a fantastic team. We know we are. Because you're bored or because... Oh, well, if we can give you a smile here and there, that's important. So, yeah. And distress and someone. And you've created it for what? Filled with terror. This is what they're doing to Harry and Meghan. They are terrorizing them. So the thing that Harry and Meghan are going to... Right? And like that night, to be up and down in the middle of the night, look, looking down my hallway like, are we safe? Are the doors locked? Is security on? Is everything... That's real. Is a form of terrorism. So these people need to be labeled exactly what they are doing. and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family. I walk into the house and stick my hand out to come over the first time. And I said, uh, come on, I'd love to have a word with you if possible. He says that your husband renewed his relationship with Mrs. Camilla Parker Bowles. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. But I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. But if Diana had hoped to get support from the Queen, she was sorely disappointed. According to the Princess, the Queen turned a cold shoulder to her appeal for help. Yes, I was. But I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. The Princess described an emotional scene inside the walls of Buckingham Palace. And I'm sobbing and I said, what do I do? I'm coming to you, what do I do? And she said, I don't know what you should do. John's hopeless. And that was it. That was help. Yes, I was but I wasn't in a position to do anything about it. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family. And she looked really uncomfortable, put her head down. She said, oh yes, fine. And I said to the two men, okay boys, you just have a quick word, Camilla, and uh, I'll be up in a minute. And they shot upstairs, like chickens with their heads. And I could feel upstairs, all hell breaking loose. What is she going to do? What evidence did you have that their relationship was continuing even though you were married? A, a woman's instinct is a very good one. <laughs> so I said, Camilla, let's like, sit down. So we sat down. And I was a terrified of her. And I said, Come on, I'd just like to know that I know exactly what's going on. And she said, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I had, I, obviously, I had knowledge of it. From staff? Well, from people who minded and cared about our marriage. 
Yes. What effect did that have on you? Pretty devastating. And I said, I know what's going on between you and Charles, and I just want you to know that. And she said to me, very interesting, she said to me, you've got everything you've ever wanted. All men in the world fall in love with you. A husband who loves someone else, yes. It was already difficult, but it became increasingly difficult. And she said to me, very interesting, she said to me, you've got everything you've ever wanted. All men in the world fall in love with you. And used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. The most damaging charge that is made in relation to your marriage is that you were, because of your relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, from the beginning, persistently unfaithful to your wife and thus caused the breakdown. What is your, your response to that persistent uh, criticism? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. I mean, all I could say is um, that, uh, I mean, there is no truth in, in, in so much of this. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family. Speculation. And uh, um, Mrs. Parker Bells is a great friend of mine. I have a large number of friends I'm terribly lucky to have. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. So many friends, who I think are wonderful. Well, people were, when I say people, I mean friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable. And uh, make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints. You've got two beautiful children, what more do you want? And I didn't believe what she said anyway. So I said, I want my husband. And she said, well, and she looked down the whole time. I said to Camilla, I'm sorry I'm in the way. I obviously am in the way. And it must be health, both of you. But I didn't know what's going on, don't you? No, I do In the car, my back, my husband was over me like a bad rash. I cried, like I've never cried before. Which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. And you've created it for what? Which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. I cried, like I've never cried before. Looking down my hallway like our... I cried, like I've never cried before. Which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Are we safe? Are the doors locked? I cried, like I've never cried before. Is security on? Is everything... Which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. That's real. It was anger. It was seven years of pent up anger coming out. Cry, cry, cry. I didn't sleep that night. And the next morning I woke up. Displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints and concerns about the programme. And were evasive in their reporting to the media and covered up what they knew from their internal investigation. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. What effect did that have on you? Pretty devastating. Rampant bulimia, if you can have rampant bulimia, and just a feeling of being no good at anything and being useless and hopeless and failed in every direction. Wow. In a practical sense, how did it become difficult? Well, people were, when I say people, I mean friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was Again, unstable. Um, Ken had to put it in. And then when Ken had put it in, Charles grabbed him by the throat. Well, they said, said, you do understand, Ken, I, I, I just have to let this out. When I say people, I mean friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable. <laughs> when I say people, I mean friends my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable. A great friend of mine. I have a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends who I think are wonderful and uh, make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise. Which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable. 
um, sick and should be put in an, a home of some sort in order to get better. I was almost an embarrassment. Do you think he really thought that? I, mean, I have a large number of friends I'm terribly lucky to have make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise. Well, there's no better way to dismantle a personality than to isolate it. So you were isolated? Mm-hmm. Very much so. All right, so let's go back to the tweet. Uh, where did it start? Oh, so perfect. <laughs>